And now to new protests in Ferguson, Missouri tonight. Several demonstrators today storming into St. Louis City Hall across America in at least a dozen major cities. Thousands took part in mostly peaceful demonstrations. Streets filled from Washington to Los Angeles. And tonight, the family of Michael Brown responding to Officer Darren Wilson, breaking his silence to ABC News, telling George Stephanopoulos his version of their 90-second confrontation. ABC's Steve Olsen saw me back in Ferguson for us tonight. Indict, convict, send that killer to jail. Tonight, all of this in the name of Michael Brown, a growing protest nationwide against police profiling. In St. Louis today, they storm City Hall. This is an unlawful assembly. You're being ordered to disperse from the area. The words of Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson haven't calmed the debate one bit over who was to blame that August afternoon when Wilson shot and killed the unarmed teen. In this exclusive interview with George Stephanopoulos, the one person everyone wanted to hear from in this case on what he would say to Brown's family. You know, I'm sorry that their son lost his life. It wasn't the intention of that day. It's what occurred that day. And there's no, nothing you can say that's going to make a parent feel better. It sounds like you don't think you were responsible. I did my job that day. Do you feel any remorse? Everyone feels remorse when a life's lost. Like I told you before, I never wanted to take anybody's life. You know, that's not the good part of the job. That's the bad part of the job. So yes, there is remorse. Brown's family and their lawyers weren't hearing any of it. It was very hurtful to Michael Brown's parents when he said he had a clear conscience after killing their unarmed teenage son. They were taken back looking at the interview because they felt that he had no regards for their child and that was hurtful to them. Meanwhile, back in Ferguson, police are still trying to explain how they let a small group of alleged arsonists get the best of them. If any of us knew last night was going to be what it was, if we had a crystal ball, we'd have probably done something different, but we could have never imagined that. Families here worry more of this city could burn as the protests continue. They're also worried about what happens when the federal government announces its decision on possible charges in this case.